Hey Gemini, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Welcome to the tree house today. We're going to be getting insight on what's coming towards you, what you can anticipate for mid-month April 2024. I don't know why, but for some, for some reason it's been really hard for me to say the year. I know, it's weird. I'm like, really? 2024? <laughs> like, what year am I stuck in? Um, there's going to be an extended after this. If you'd like to follow me over there, the link will be in the description box below. Uh, if you'd like for me to pray for you, say hi in the comments section, even an emoji that that works, something that represents your energy. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel, please like the channel. Please hit that like button. It's enormous, really helpful. I appreciate it. All right. Gemini, what's coming towards Gemini in mid-April 2024? Please make it clear. Anything that flies out, that's what we take. If they fly out in reverse, that's how we read them. So we read reversals and upright cards for Gemini, April 2024. Gemini, April 2024. What's coming towards Gemini, April 2024? We have coming out of Five of Pentacles. That's a great sign. Coming out of scarcity. If you felt like your bank account is depleted, that's a good sign. If you feel like it's actually, if it, it turns into um, not so much a financial reading and it's more relationship, we'll find out. Uh, that means like if you've been a place in a place of scarcity in your relationships, feeling misunderstood or alienated anywhere uh, with a relationship, that's a really great sign that things are remedying. That's not a freaking word. Things are healing. Bear with me. I'm on shot, espresso shot number four. Nine of Pentacles, excuse me, Nine of Cups, <laughs> really good sign. So this is happiness, and this is a little bit of pride, but well-placed pride. We have communication, Geminis are so good at. This is swift communication. This is like that sense that you need to get something off your chest, either coming towards you. It looks like somebody is coming towards you to communicate. Um, they've got something to say to you. We have Seven of Wands, which is a great sign in that like, you are sticking by your guns. You are standing by your convictions. You're very powerful there. You might be faking it till you make it. The strength card is upside down. We're gonna check on that. Queen of Wands. This is an individual in your in your uh, uh, in your world who could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. They're quite confident. They they can be fiery. They like to be inspired and motivated. They can be ambitious. They like nice things. They run by their instincts. And we have, again, the Five of Pentacles, which is coming out of a place of uh, depletion, ineptitude, it, um, scarcity. So let's start with this really positive card of the Nine of Cups, okay? Nine of Cups, again, talking about happiness, feeling really good. About things. Why are we getting the Nine of Cups for Gemini? Victory. You're having a huge victory, a triumph. The Six of Wands comes out. What is this that you have done? Queen of Cups. Maybe you've gotten the attention of a Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign, but this is somebody who's emotional, sensitive, wears their heart on their sleeve. They're uh, usually pretty creative. They don't make their decisions typically from a very black and white place. They see all the gray area in life. I feel that you've been working towards something with this individual, whether it's a relationship or getting their attention somehow in a certain light, you are going to be successful. I don't know why, but this card is flipped and that's the sun. Really looking good for you with this individual. We're gonna keep that as kind of a footnote and keep on going about this good energy. Who's this queen of cups? Page of Pentacle. they might be a little, like you got to learn, they might be challenging you. They might be different than what you're used to. You might be intrigued by them, which is a good thing for Geminis because they like to be intellectually stimulated. Uh, they can get bored of people pretty easily. Am I right? I'm a Gemini rising. Nine of Wands. So there's a tenacity attached to this, a determination, but also kind of an exhaustion. I wonder what that is, you guys. You tell me. So I feel like you, you're almost... Um, something about like stretching to reach a goal with this individual make sure they're right side up trying to get their attention that's what keeps on coming to my mind they're different a fool the fool is a brand new journey a brand new venture you're you are having success in it you're very very happy so communication knight of swords somebody wants to tell you something lovers. 
is a choice here, but also lovers, you guys, I think they got to get something off their chest. I think you've got their attention. What else? Now there might be another individual here. Who is this individual? Queen of Pentacles. Okay. There is somebody I think they put a lot of work into in their life. And I feel that they have to communicate something about this with you. They need you to know about it. Seven of Wands, conviction, sticking by your convictions, sticking by your beliefs, that you can create something with a manifestor. Oh, these cards, my God. The manifesting energy, you believe in this. This can be. You're manifesting it heavily and you're sticking by your guns. But do you have the co cooperation of others? So, it would be nice if we could just simply manifest something because we want it, but there's sometimes a few more hoops to jump through. What's important to focus here with the Justice card is that it works out in your favor. There's more than meets the eye to the situation. I do feel like that is going to come to light, but if you're feeling like I would focus on why is there an exhaustion attached to this wanting to expand, learn something better, get, get to know somebody or something better. There's a sense of like being good enough, uh, being ready for somebody. And this fool wanting this brand new start. Starting on a new deck, we have strength in reverse. For our Geminis. You're good at, sometimes people don't realize how much courage it takes, the things that you do, um, because you have that great and beautiful ability to bullshit. And I mean that in a really good way, like fake it till you make it. Sometimes you have to put on the face of courage before you feel it on the inside. So that's exactly what this is, is even if you feel a little wobbly on the inside, you're coming across as the Knight of Wands, gallantly galloping towards everything that you want. I will take that, I will take that, this is what I want. Um, and that can actually kind of be awe-inspiring to see an individual like that. Like they make people drop, drop their jaws drop other things too. I mean, uh, so you get results that way. And then it's like your confidence can catch up, but you have courage and not everybody has courage. Um, but there, the confidence lies in if, if it'll make a difference with this lovers, is there anything you can do within your power? to make a difference once you know all the information in their situation. Queen of Wands, why are we getting Queen of Wands? Again, more communication, making plans, moving forward. Bear with me. Five of Pentacles is clarified by Justice card again, and the Knight of Cups. You will be heard, you will be listened to, you will be realized. There is something that is like, this justice card is a great sign. It means like karmically things are balancing out, they're working out in your favor. Um, but there's some stuff you don't see here. Again, with the moon. So, and that's gonna be revealed in a conversation with the Knight of Swords. Waiting for this, it almost feels like there's a chain of communication that needs to happen between possibly more than two individuals. And it almost feels like one person needs to start communication with your person that you have your focus on, this Queen of Cups. 
and then they will have communication with you and it'll all become kind of clear. In the meantime, you're looking strong, courageous, confident, even if you don't feel like it. Very fascinating. I'd like to dive further into that. Um, we're at about 10 minutes right now. Please join me for the extended price of a cup of coffee. If I don't see you till our next reading, thank you so much for joining me thus far. I've really loved reading for you. Take good care of yourselves.